Uh, we're here to uh, announce the intention to file a lawsuit against Jerry Brown in regards to title and summary uh, on uh, the Vote Safe initiative. Uh, since at least in the last uh, group of people who were gathered, voting was such an important issue, we thought that we'd follow it up with the idea that certainly when we vote, we certainly want to make sure that our votes are counted and they're counted properly. Vote Safe Initiative is a very uh, simple issue, and that is what it does is it requires a government ID when it is that you go to the polling place. Uh, voter fraud in the state of California is committed as easily as walking up to a polling place, identifying uh, who hasn't voted, and walking in and saying you're one of those people. There's nothing to prevent that from happening, and in fact, we know that it happens regularly. Uh, and so what we seek to do is simply say you can go ahead and deal with that with a voter ID, um, picture ID, make the, make the connection, and therefore we, we believe it, it saves that particular um, issue in regards to easy access for voter fraud. Part of the issue that we are concerned about in the, in the initiative itself, or in the title and summary, I guess is, is, is clear in the, in the press document that we did, and that is the Attorney General, uh, we believe, not only shades his opinion, with, with how it is that he words this, but we believe he actually gets it factually wrong. And in our opinion, the Attorney General's responsibility is to ensure that voters have a clear argument and a clear understanding of what is placed before them. And we believe it's a tremendous breach of responsibility when it is that you not only, uh, sh not, only not shade what it is that you're dealing with in terms of trying to influence, but when you actually become factually <coughs> wrong with what it is that you're saying. And I guess that uh, the, 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 uh, the shading aspect of it certainly comes in its title where it says limited li limits on voting. But the factual issue is when the Attorney General says that this prohibits people from voting. When in fact, specific language in the initiative says that nobody shall be prohibited from voting. And again, we believe that that is uh, not only, again, uh, a wrongful shading of the truth, but certainly, we believe it certainly is an, an out and right misstatement in regards to what the initiative is. I have Steve Barrick with me. Steve is the uh, president of the California Republican Attorneys Association. They are going to be moving forward and representing and filing in the Sacramento uh, Superior Court the suit uh, in this next week. Steve? Thank you, Senator. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, following up on the comments of the Senator, uh, we believe the issues, having litigated and represented uh, Republican clients and other clients throughout the United States and the state of California uh, on election issues, we believe this is a very important issue, especially in light of what's been going on nationally with uh, the fraud that ACORN has been involved in. Uh, it's so important that the voters in the state of California understand and respect uh, that the election results are truthful and they're fair. So the purpose of what we're trying to do is ensure fair and just elections in the state of California. What we will be filing in Sacramento Superior Court is a petition for writ of mandate where we'll be asking the Superior Court to order the Attorney General uh, to proceed with and fairly assess uh, the, uh, the initiative and its ballot title and ballot summary. Uh, we'll probably be filing sometime at the end of this week and pursuing some sort of ex-party process in order to expedite things so we can hurry and move forward and get this initiative on the ballot as quickly as we possibly can. 